Next week we're coming up on Hanukkah. So what are we? What are the additions for Hanukkah? What are we going to be davening? A little bit, a uh, few things different. So the first thing is that we're going to say Al Anisim. Where do we say Al Anisim? The middle of uh, davening in Shmon Esrei. The one, middle of one, one twelve. One twelve. That's the first thing we're going to say the Al Anisim. The middle of the Hoda. Hoda is Modim because that's when we say we thank Hashem. So that's why it makes sense to put in the Al Anisim when we thank Hashem for all of the miracles. <coughs> we put that in at that spot. Now, after that comes the next. Uh, we put. We also say in benching. In benching, we also say alanisim, and there we we say after no delacha. Right. One eighty four. Okay. So right after the second paragraph of no One eighty six. Which also. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Right after no we also say alanisim. Because we, and that's also in the in the thanking Hashem for seven things, right? By the way, whenever you go through Noda, you should count on your fingers seven things. That's a way to make sure you're paying attention. If you're thanking God for seven things, then you know you're 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 saying out, you're saying uh, you're saying the second paragraph right. So every time we bench, we say seven things. <laughs> What do we thank Hashem for? Right? Yes. Yeah. We're giving a preparation for Hanukkah. So what we in we say we're going to insert Al Hanisim into benching. Now. Right, you got the seven things? What are the seven things that we thank Hashem for every day in benching in Noda? So you you count with your finger. First of all, Eretz Chemda. We got a land. I'll show you to Yisanu, page 186. He took us out of Eretz Mitzrayim. Val Berischa, he gave us Bris Mila. Val Teiroscha, he gave us Torah. Val Chaim, Chayim, Chesed, he gave us life. Al Chilas, Mazen, Shat, Azan. And on the food. So there should be, a, and if you count uh, Chukim, that could be seven. Okay, so we're going to put in... What? Sorry, what's hukum? What's hukum? Chuk, a chayk is a statute. It's oh, one of the... Right, it's a Torah law, which we don't understand the reason for. So, my next question is... Right, so that's what we're going to eat, right? What about when we make... When we eat, like, uh, some cookies, right? What do you do? What do you make when you... Well, you make a bracha, an after bracha, right? You make an al mechia. So what's the halacha on on Hanukkah with all with all? I don't think there's anything in there, is there? It's right off. Oh, page two hundred. Uh, Nathan, what do you think? I can't remember if there's anything in there. Page two hundred. What does he say? What does it say there? Because we know on Shabbos, you know, there's a special insertion for Shabbos. Sh- Shabbos, it says, you say, you insert that. That's, that's um, taken after the words would say that we say every Shabbos. And on, on, on uh, Rosh Chodesh, we say, Right? Pesach, Shavuos, Sukkot, Shemini Atzer, Rosh Hashanah. So what happened to Hanukkah? Why is Hanukkah left out? Is this, is this a mistake? Can be mistake. Well, all these, all these. I was going to never make a mistake. So all must these be right. ones are regarding have to do with um, Israel. I mean, the Torah. Israel leaving er, er, Israel leaving Egypt. Um, they're all in the Torah. They're all from the. I mean, Irving is saying these are all holidays celebrated. That are instituted from the Torah, right? And they're all related to. I mean, Shabbos, of course, is but the seven, the six, are all related to Yitzchak Mitzrayim. Ah, uh, Rosh Chodesh. Sure, it's the first mitzvah. Yeah, but is it, what? Why is it related to Yitzchak Mitzrayim? It's the first mitzvah that we did, as uh, as far as with. We bless the new moon. Do. We we bless the new moon. That's true, but. <coughs> So what? So what do you want to say? That we only insert things which have to do with these Yisrael Mitzrayim? Take a look. Six out of the seven have to do with which are related to the Shavuos. What about Shavuos? Shavuos. Truth is, you're right. 
all uh-huh. the three regalim, they say all the three Yom Tovim do our commemoration of Zechel Yitzhak Mitzrayim because that's what we say in Yav Yavo. Yav Yavo, we say, if you look there, it ends off, we say uh, all these things, or in Shmon Asrei, or in Shmon, better yet in Shmon Asrei, we all, if you look on Musaf or, you know, of, of Shmon Asrei, uh, we always say, or, or, or even Shachris on Shavuos, here we go, I have it right here, it says that these are uh, Zechel Yitzhak Mitzrayim. That goes even on even on on Shavuos. Here it says, "Vatitin lano Hashem lekeno." God gave us as Yom, right? Sasa Moad. But you know, it's interesting. Yom Shavuos mikra kodesh zeh zeh relitias mitrayim. But what's the interesting question is, is that okay? So this is all min Torah, right? But when they did that, when they did already the um, the berkat hamazon, they added already even the berkat hamazon. They added a special insert for Hanukkah, which was after, of course, receiving the Torah. So the good question is, a good question. Why is it that you have a, you have a insert of after the Torah was re- re- already given for Berkat <coughs> Mazon and uh, yet uh, and yet you don't have that for for the. Uh, oh, okay. That's the good question. Right, you understand what we're saying so far? No. Where do we make, what do we say? We put in an insertion of Alanisim in... Asher of the Torah. Number one, we say in Shmon Asher, we're going to say it every every day in Shmon Asher, three times a day we're going to say Alanisim. Right. You're going to have to get a sticker in your sitter to make, remind you. You don't forget. You have those little stickers? And if you don't, you have to do the whole thing over again. No. Uh, <laughs> one second, where? By, by Shmon Asher? Shmon Asher, we don't. And you need to forget not for uh, not for this. For Alanisim, you don't repeat it over. Uh-huh. If you forget it, right, page 112, you don't repeat Shmon Esrei. But, if you remember before Shmon Esrei, right, you got it so far? Mm-hmm. If you remember before Shmon, before you finish and before you take three steps back, then you, there's a, they say to say it uh, during Elikain Tzor. You should, you know, like on page 118, the last page of Shmon Esrei, they say you should insert it there. Uh-huh. Okay. You could add it on. Yeah, you could put it in over there. That's what they say uh, if you forget it. You know, you put in the Arachamon. You know, they even give you, they even show you like where you could do it if you forget. Right over, right at the end. Okay, so that's that's what they say. But you don't go back for this. But the question that you're raising is a good question. Why? So why is there no insertion? So there's an insertion for Shmon There's an insertion for. When we're going to bench, we're going to say Alanisim, right? Where are we going to put in Alanisim? In benching? Right? We're going to put it in the yeah. second paragraph right after Noda. Right after Noda Lecha, right? You see that page? What page was that, Irving, in benching? Uh, for benching oh. is 184. 184. Oh, 186. Oh. 186. So if you see on page 186, there's a special assertion for benching. So, so, right, you got this before benching? So why, right, we're going to say, we're going to say Alanisim right over here. So why for Alanisim do we put it in the middle of benching? So why don't we put it in for Alanisim also? So I'll read you first the Shulchan Aruch, right? This is, this is the place where we're going to put it in. Alanisim is specifically on the seven grains. No. No? Well, first of all, there's uh, five grains. Five grains, okay. That's first. Uh, right, like chita, uh, sa'ira, shibay l'shul, the the five grains, five uh, types of you know wheat, barley. But specific to Eretz, no, it wasn't specific to Eretz Israel. But it, well, it's also on all of the, uh, it's, it's on let's say, fruits, the types of the seven, the, the, those are the seven species right, that yeah. Israel is praised for, and right? Yeah, yeah. There are right. What are the fruits that Israel is praised for? Right, pomegranate. Pomegranate, dates, right? Dates, olives. Dates, olives. Pomegranates. Uh, right. These are the. It's called in Hebrew the shivas haminim. Shivas haminim, the seven species which Israel is praised for. So we got the pomegranate, the dates, and olives. Is that it? We don't even have fifty percent here. <laughs> Not even fifty. <laughs> It says it actually on that one. Wait, that, that, that includes also grapes. Oh, right, 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 grapes. Okay, yeah, good, grapes. good. Figs. 
Figs. Oh, there we go. Figs. There you go. Always. Eretz is the first word in the Pasuk. Chita. Chita. What about Chita? What is Chita? Right. Chita is... Chita is wheat. But that's not like fruit. I thought we were doing the seven fruits. These are the seven. These are one of the yeah. seven fruits. Oh, wheat. This okay. Wheat. Sorry. One of the seven. It happens to be one of the five grains, grains. which we, which we also. It happens to be one of the five big grains, which you could like, okay. could maybe manufacture into bread. But it also wheat. And then once I told you wheat, you could guess the next Oats, one. Oats, barley. <laughs> barley. Okay. Chita sa'ira, geffen, geffen. You got rimain. You got right. Dates. Ka'ena and Eretz Zay Shemen. Zay Shemen is the olive oil. Or Devash. Honey. Now the truth is we don't make a we don't make honey. On honey? We, no, we don't make an alamichal on the honey. These are uh, these are only for right, they'll say only for either the, the grapes or the pom well the pomegranates we don't we don't make a geffen for either. We don't make an alamichal on, on the pomegranates either. Only on the grapes or the grape juice. For the grains, we do it also for the pomegranates. Grains? Pomegranates, we also, yeah. Okay, so yeah this one is yeah, it says, it says, uh, there you go. Figs, pomegranates, all those. Are yeah. Different. So it's all it's all of the it's all of these pieces. Where you see that, Irving? What page? Right on the top of page two hundred. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So that's right. So that's that's and those are the five: wheat, barley, rye, oats, or spelt. Those all go into those are the five grains, and there and you make an alamechia for those. You make an alo eights for the fruits. For the grapes, figs, pomegranates, olives, or dates, and for the grape wine, grape juice, then you say ala geffen and valpria geffen. So that's right, th that's what we make it on. Those basically seven species, shivas aminim, but the honey, honey, we don't. Honey comes out is left out. What honey? Why are you bringing that? But the truth is, the honey comes from uh, comes from dates, maybe. It comes from dates. Why are you bringing up honey? Honey is not part of the... Devash, sure. Devash. The truth is, the te'ena, the fig... You're mixing up with the land of the... Milk and honey? Okay. Love, yeah, because you're, yeah, it has not... No, so the fig, the truth is, it comes from it comes from the dates. Honey comes from the dates. So... It's already it's incorporated in there. In the date. So the date is the, is probably that one. So the question you're saying is, why don't we say in Alamechia an addition for Alanisium as opposed to we do it in uh, in, in Benchim? Right. That's right. Exactly. That's what Nathan was asking. Exactly. Excellent. That's an amazing question. The reason why we're making Alamechia for these species especially is because they're so chashuv. They're so important. These are the most important types of foods which are praised. The reason why they're, they're, they're important is because Eretz Yisrael is praised by them. It says that Eretz Yisrael is the land of Eretz. It's the Eretz of Chita, Sa'ira, Gef, and Tain, Arima, and Eretz, Eishem, and Udvash. Right? That's the, the Pasuk says it. The Pasuk says all these things. Right, we, you could, we could look up the Pasuk. The Pasuk, is, uh, Pasuk says in Chumash, in uh, Parshas Ekev, it says, Eretz, Chita, Se'oira, Gefen, Te'ena, Rimoin, Eretz, Seit Shemen, or Devash. Why Devash though? And what's Devash? Devash is tomorrow. Tomorrow are dates. Trick to remember that yeah, is. is uh, uh, late. You gotta remember that? You know the trick to remember to what, how, what is tomorrow and what is <coughs> Te'ena? Tamar. A Tamar is a date. If you have a date, so the girl's name is Tamar. <laughs> <laughs> so Tamar is a date, and Te'ena is a fig. So these are all, th these, this is what the Pasuk says. The Pasuk praises Eretz Yisrael that they have these seven fruits. But isn't Devash from bees? No. No, so there's two types. You can have Devash from bees and you can have Devash from Tamarim, from dates. Yes. So therefore we, that's, that's why Tamarim are one of, the, one of the seven species that we praise Eretz Yisrael. So it's incorrect to say the land of milk and honey. Well, it, that's a different uh, that's different title. That's, uh, that is also true. It's, reference. it's also true. It right. is the land of milk and honey too. It's not honey. It is here. It says Eretz of Aschalav and Devash. It is the land of of Chalav and Devash that flows milk and honey. But uh, but also, 
Also, it's the land which is praised for these seven species in general. Okay, so these are, that, that's what, that's the clear Pusik. So therefore, since Eretz Yisrael is praised for it, and not only is, it says Eretz twice in the Pusik, Eretz, right, Eretz Chito Sairo Gefen Tein of Arimain, and then says it again, Eretz Zeis Shemen Udvash, right? That's how special and significant for those. Right, maybe we should see the Pusik. Maybe we'll take out Chumash and we'll look up the Pusik inside, yeah? We'll so it says on page 982, Pusik Ches. <coughs> Eretz Chita Seira Begefen. Right, you got it, 982? It's the land of wheat, barley, Geffen, Te'ena, Rimain, Eretz Dei Shemen Udvash. So, did you notice it says Eretz twice here? It says Eretz in the beginning of the Pasuk and the end. So, we learn now from here that since it says it twice, so first of all, this is, it's the Eretz, it, that's what we mean, that it's praise, it's the land is praise, of the, it has these special fruits. But, but another thing is also that whatever is closest to the word Eretz has precedence that, that you make a bracha on that first. Right, if you have an apple and a date in front of you, and you want to make a, or you have, right, the first thing is what should you make the bracha on? You make it on the date, because the date is more chashuv. It will be a bracha on something more important, right? If, you have, right? if you have wheat or barley, what should you make the bracha on? Wheat. Wheat, because wheat is first in the Pasuk. Eretz, chita, se'oyva, chita is first, right? Gefen, or, 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 or chita, right? What do you do? Grapes or, or, or wheat? Grapes. We're wheat. supposed to do, we're supposed to do the wheat. Supposed to the wheat, because wheat is first. Whatever's first in the Basak, Eretz Chita Sarigavit. Right? So far, so good? So that's why we cover, we that's why we cover challah? Wheat is first in... No, so where we get the idea that's why we cover the challah. Exactly why we cover the challah every Friday night, because in the order of the brachos, the chita should come first, the bread should come first. Oh. The only thing is, we're supposed to make Kiddush first. Kiddush is what lets us, get matters, it lets us, now, the Chacham has said, first make Kiddush. So therefore, we have to make Kiddush first. We have to make a ag- ag- Geffen. But being that we we're switching the order, we, not to embarrass the bread, that we're pushing off the bracha, even though it's really due to come to the bread first, we cover it. won't be embarrassed. But it has to be on the table, you see. And it's supposed to be on the table also. Even covered. covered. It's supposed to be on the table and it's supposed to be covered. Right. Not that you, should ha- you shouldn't have it on. You see from here that it has to be covered, which means it has to be on, it's supposed to be on the table. And uh, the, the Shmira Shabbos Kalchasa brings down this idea. It's supposed to be on the table. You should have it there. Okay. It should be in front of you. Kiddush Bemakam Suda. You're about to have the Suda. The Suda should be in front of you to have Kiddush. So it's interesting that you say that because... Um, uh, German Jews have a minig. They make Kiddush, and right after Kiddush, they, they wash, they make Kiddush, and then they eat challah. Right, they wash first, right. They wash, make Kiddush, and eat challah. Right, that's uh, a Yekish a minig. The, the Yekis do that. It's, uh, there's they no, the no hefsek between. Uh, like, Right, the the Mila, the, the what's the positive thing? What they do? The German Jews, they wash first, then they make kiddush, and then they have their meal. <coughs> so since they wash first, so they don't have to get up and wash after kiddush. They already washed. They say in the Tilsi time. Mishnah Navarra would definitely be against that, no? So there's no. it's brought down both views in the Shulchan Aruch, the Mechaber, the Beis Yosef, and but the Rambam. But the reason why I'm bringing it up to your point, uh, bringing it up, is yeah. because. <coughs> Emphasis. Wait, so I'm pointing out that, that the, the reason why they do it is because they don't want to have a hefsik. They don't want to have an interruption after Kiddush. It says Kiddush Suda, Kiddush Bimakum Suda. So they don't have. They want to re- go Kiddush Suda. You're not supposed to wait around after Kiddush to eat the Suda. But typically, like the custom is after you do the Tzavat Dan, you don't talk. That's true. They doing kiddush, so they're talking to you. So the, the talk related right. only to the we, power. Right. We right. We we'd rather do the other way. The other Ashkenazim they do first kiddush, then they quickly go wash, and then uh, and and the, the Mila is that that we don't want to do to wash first because if you wash first, then you have to say kiddush. 
So we don't want to speak out in anything else. Usually we don't talk out after after uh, washing. So That's we, my thought in the Mishnah Bureau. It's a, but there's yeah, two but views. It says both ways. But on the other hand, yeah. they say they say it's better like this. So it's not a hefsik. It's not an interruption because they say this is part of the meal. Kiddush is a, a, a necessary prerequisite to, to eat. you got to make Kiddush. So it's not a hefsik. It's not an interruption. But how can then we say... By Ashkenazim, it's it's also to to say was the Fardim say Yeah, because that's considered a chesek for uh, under yeah. Ashkenaz ruling. So yeah, for us we don't do so that. How could Kiddush not be? For us, it's for us it's it's, it's an interruption. But for someone whose menog is that they should do it, so th- for them they they accepted that 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 is what they need. That's necessary for them. So for them it's not an interruption. Okay, okay so these are the the seven things, and and I just want to point out. Being that it says Eretz in the Pasuk twice, you see it says Eretz there twice on page mm-hmm. eight, 982. So, he, so the Gemara learns out that whichever word is closest to Eretz goes first. Now, it says Eretz twice. So therefore, Zay Shevin, if you have an olive, you make a bracha on an olive before you make a bracha on a grape. An olive comes before a grape because an olive is right after Eretz. Number two. Zayt is an olive? Zayas. Zayat is an olive. Right? Zay Shemen. You're going to be buying Zay Shemen next week, right? It's a wheat and an olive. Shemen Zayas, right? What's Shemen Zayas? What, what type of oil do you olive put? Olive oil. You're not buying canola oil, oil mm-hmm. next year, right? So make sure you've got this right. Zay Shemen. Read the, read the package. Zay Shemen is olive oil. And the vash is supposed to be Tom- wine? Tomorrow. No, the no. vash, oh, the you vash said, is you honey. Said if you, I thought you just had a moment ago, if you have olive oil and, or wine. That was my question. What would you say? What, do, what should you make first? Olive oil or olives or geffen or grapes? Which, which one should you make a bracha first on? I wasn't, no, I wasn't reading from the Pasuk. Oh, okay. I was asking which one would you say is first? Is more chashem? Yes. So, so the answer is Zayas because Zayas is placed right after the word Eretz. So whatever is right after the word Eretz, Eretz is uh, Eretz is, raw, is praised by these fruits. So whatever is right after Eretz is most chashuv. So therefore, Shemen is best, right? But what's it? so it comes out like this? Chita is all the way the best because Chita is right after Eretz. So right after Eretz is Chita. So Chita is number one. What's number two? Zay Shemen, olives. That's number two. What's number three? Sa'ira, because you got to go back and forth from the first Eretz to the second Eretz. <coughs> first Eretz is best. Second Eretz is second best. Oh, okay. So, all right, I see what you mean. So you got Chita's first, Zeshemin second. Sa'ira's third. Devash, tomorrow, the dates are going to be four. What's third? Sa'ira. Sa'ira, the barley. Barley. And you go back and forth, and this is how you know what you should make a bracha on if you have a choice. You didn't answer the question yet. So now, now the question is, olives or grapes? The answer is, you look at the puzzle, no, you that's count. That's the question you asked. Which one? Recently. Well, we're getting back to there. So we're getting back. So, yeah, we went off a little bit uh, just to get a uh, roundup, just to know exactly what. So it comes out, you have to count up what's first. So what's the answer? Olives or grapes? What do you make a bracha on first? It's an olive eight. Which olives. one should you which one should olives. you make it on? Now I would say olives. Olives, right? Because olives is first. Yeah. Grapes are third from Eretz. Right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And and he says that when you leave a dates in the sun, the honey comes out from them. So that's why that's why uh, that's how you get honey from dates. Okay. So since these seven species are praised in the Chumash right there, so the Shulchan Aruch says that's why they get a special after blessing. They get a special after blessing. They don't get the Bari Nefashos. The Bari Nefashos is, you know, is a shorter bracha. This is the long one because it's coming for Chashava foods. You just ate these important foods. So therefore they get a special bracha for themselves. Okay, so that's what we're coming out from here. Okay. Now, based on this, based on this introduction, okay, now we're getting back to the question at hand. So what's your question? Nathan, which question should we get back to? Of course. Not the question. The question is, why is it we have an an insert for Hanukkah and the Shemun Esrei and also for Berkat Amazon, but there's no insert for 
and, and, and I'll even yeah, read you the Shulchan Aruch that I'm reading right now. I'm looking up here, Ilkas Alamechia. So I just read you the five species, the seven species from Alamechia. And then, then, the, uh, then he says, the next rule in Alamechia is, in Simon Reish Ches, if you he says, we say, Me'ein HaMe'ora. Me'ora is like a happening. So we speak about whatever the happening of the day is. We mention it in Alamechia. B'Shabbos, B'Yom Tov, B'Rosh Chodesh. But he says, we don't mention it on Hanukkah and Purim. So, the question here is, why not? So the Mishnah Brura, he just tells you here what he says, uh, Mishnah Brura gives you a little bit of a reason. Mishnah Brura says that, the reason is that in Birchus HaMazon, this that we insert, al Nisim, comes from a minuk. It comes from a custom. It comes from a custom. What? 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 Alanisim? Yeah. No. An old custom. A custom that. Uh, no, not I that. Don't, I don't. I don't swallow that. You don't have a custom and you need to put it into the beer. No, it's not a personal custom, but it's a custom. No, that, that, that word custom is not a good custom. <laughs> it was it was orchestrated by the by the by the Chachamim or the Rebbeim at the time. And they insert in the Shemona Esrei, and they insert in the in the in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Birkat Hamazon. Uh, that isn't a good answer. So, well, let me first tell you the idea. The idea, no, you're right. It's from the Anshek Nesa It's yeah. from the men of the Great Assembly. But what did they institute it as as an obligation or as a custom? There's is how heavy was the obligation that they put in. Well, if you said it, if you forgot it, and you're, and you're not uh, high to... To repeat. To it, Wait a minute, he didn't say that. No, he we talked about it before. He said you could say it after... If you say it, you that's kind of that's right. Right. That's right. you say it, you put it in, in El Kain yeah. but if you if you already, uh, if you don't, if you, if you only realize, let's say you realize after you already step out of Shabbat Esrei, you don't, do you don't go back. Right. Anyways, anyways, it it, 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 it has more weight. No, I will, I will, I will, I'm going to explain much deeper. This is just... The one shot that uh, Mr. Brewer brings down from the Vilna Gon. Vilna Gon says that it was instituted as a lower level of a, it's not like an obligation, not like the other parts, not like Ritze or other things, which are more of a Chiv. This is more a lighter level. He calls it Minug, but it's, it's not like a custom like the way we know it, like a custom of, you know, do you put your Tefillin on this way or that way? Wow. It's, not, it's not that type of custom. Is that when you say lighter, is that what you're referring to? It's not like set? And well, it is set, but it's not such a, high, it's not such a high obligation. Oh. So he wants to say that by Alamechia, they never instituted at all this type of Minug. That's what the, that's what he says over here in the Mishnah Bura. But, I'm going to go, we'll, we'll explain a little more for you, Irving. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't give up. I'm going to tell you a uh, much deeper. Uh, I will much listen while you're explaining to, the, to Nathan, but I'll also listen. No, we'll, we'll go deeper. We'll go deeper. Do not, do not worry. Not coming in. Okay. Now, the truth is, I'll read you the Shulchan Aruch and Hilchas Chanukah. Hilchas Chanukah, here it also tells you what you do special for Chanukah. So, right in the end, almost the end, right before Purim, Tough Rage Pay Base, the Shulchan Aruch says, All eight days we say Al Anisim in Birchas HaMazon, in Benching, and in Shmona Esrei. And if you forget it, we don't, you don't go back. But then he says again, if you uh, remember, so as long as, uh, uh, let's say you're holding in V'chol HaChayim, right? You're supposed to, we say it right after Modem. Let's say you start saying V'chol HaChayim, Yerducha Selah, and you see you forgot it, so you go back. Then you do go back. As long as you don't see Hashem's name of the next bracha, you still could go back. Okay. And then he says, uh, by, by benching also, you, you, uh, you insert that harachamon. So the Mishnah Brewer says over here, does he give a reason? Let me see here if he explains it. So he says, all of these things, the reason is, why do you put them in here, right? Obviously, why do you put, you insert it into modem, so we spoke this out, is because these are all hodah. And Hanukkah, the whole idea of Hanukkah is hodah. It's all to praise Hashem, all to thank Hashem for the miracle of the, the fact that the oil burned for eight days. So we're thanking Hashem, so therefore we put it into Modem and we put it into Nodelacha, in Benching. 
That's what the Mishnah Brewer says over here, why we insert it right over here into Shmon Esrei. Okay. Then the Mishnah Brewer says, but we don't say an al ha we don't put in al anisim. And here he doesn't even tell you the reason, but we saw the reason, well, we saw part of the reason there. So let's go into uh, an interesting idea to explain, to give a deeper answer. Deeper answer. So there's something called a tefillah called Havinenu. Havinenu is a shortened Shmones. In a time of need, like someone's going on the road or he's in a place where he can't concentrate. So he's not able to concentrate and he's or he's scared that he's going to be interrupted, or it's a case where he can't, he's not, he's not able to concentrate for a few minutes, any of these types of cases. So in these cases, the Gemara learns out that you, that you if you can't daven a long Shmon you should daven the first three brachos, Right, you say the Baruch Atah Hashem Magen Avram, and you say the next one Mechayim Eisim Atakadosh, and then you say Havi Nenu. Havi Nenu. What's Havi Nenu? So Havi Nenu is it's a shortened version, which is a kolel. It combines a shortened version of the middle brachos of Shmona Esrei, and it's all wrapped up uh, into into that. It's called Havi Nenu, and I'll read you how it goes, right? It says, Havinenu Hash, right? First you start off with Hash, you also say Hashem Spasai Tiftach. And then you say, after the first three brachos, you say, Havinenu Hashem Elokeinu, help us, Havinenu, give us Bina, I think it means give us understanding. And you, you know why we start off with these words, right? Why would we start off saying, Havinenu, give us Bina? That's the next order of the Shmonasra. Right? Because that's the next bracha Shmon Esrei. Give us understanding to know your ways. Umal es levavenu, and circumcise our hearts liyorasecha, and help us that we should fear you. So what would that be, right? After that would be bringing us to Yeros Hashem. What does that mean? Mal es levavenu liyira or circumcise our hearts to fear Hashem, what would that correspond to? Which part of the Shmon Esri would you say that goes on? Right. Right. The next bracha is, bring us back to your Torah. We should come close to your avoda. We should do tshuva, shalema. We should do full tshuva. With, 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 that takes our hearts. That's the next part. I'm kind of getting the idea here what the next one is. Next one is the Sislach Lanu. Oh, okay. Forgive us. Forgive us. So we know that what that is. Ready? Right? Forgive us. The next one is Li Yos Geulim. Let us be redeemed. We know what that is. What's that? What's redemption? Redemption is uh, Israel. Probably. Yeah, which, what's the name of the bracha that we say there? Yushalayim. Right. Galus is the redemption. Right. Then we say the next bracha is then we next words we say Virachakenu mi machov. Virachakenu distance us from machov. Keiv from any pain. We shouldn't have pain. It's refua. It's refua. Vidashnenu and deshen. You know, we say like we sing on Shabbos, Binos Deshen Yarbitzeni. So we say, Deshen, we should have the, the fat good of, the good of the land. Of the land. Yeah. What's that? The bracha on the land. Right. Unifutso Seinu Meyarba Tika Bates. And you shall bring us back from the spread out of the, all the lands, of the Meyarba Kanfo Sa'aretz, mm-hmm. from the four corners of the land. That's and then we say that whoever is making who's lost, who's not following in the right way, they should get judged. They should get judged. And then the Rishoyim, Hashem should take care of the Rishoyim, many evil people. 
right? That's Allah Rishon. Allah, right? That's we say, the Lamal Shinim. That's Lamal Shinim. Then the Yismachu Tzadikim. That's all Tzadikim. The Vinyan Ircha. That's that's the Vinyan Ircha. Ircha. The Lirushalayim, right? And then we say Tzmichas Karen le David Avdecha. That's a Semach David. Terem Nikra Atosane. And then we say Terem Nikra. We say this on fast days. We say Terem Nikra before I even call. Atosane. Hashem answers us before we even call. That corresponds to the bracha of the rebuilding. No. Of Shmakolena. Shmakolena. Okay. Hashem should hear us. And we end off Baruch Ato Hashem Shomea Tifilah. You go into Ritzei. You say Ritzei. Modim. Sim Shalom. And you finish Monasri. Right? You just say those words. Those exact words in the middle. So Modim is uh, complete. Yeah, Modim is complete. Ritzei is complete. And Sim Shalom oh, is complete. Oh, Ritzei is complete. Okay. And Sim Shalom is complete. So you have the so three in the beginning, three, and three, in, the three in the end. So they combine the, the 11 or 12, whatever happens to be. So those are, right, right. So these are the six, 12. and then out of the other the 12, 12 or, or 13, 13 yeah. so you got these 13 wrapped up in here. 13 brachos wrapped up in three sentences. Okay. Three and a half sentences, you got 13 brachos. If a person really can't concentrate, he's, he really feels that, you know, it's, it's a hard, hard time. The truth is, a right person, the Gemara says that it should, he shouldn't resort to this unless he really needs to. Abaya would say that Abaya would say if someone misuses this, then he would give a curse to someone who misuses this. It's not. It's not. Uh, shouldn't be abused. Abaya would curse someone. So, but that's the halacha, right? If if, uh, if he needs to, he could. He gives another example. Another example, what would be, he says, uh, Mr. Brewer brings down. But at the end of the day, it works. So let's say the case would be, if you see that you have two more minutes till the Zman Tefillah, right? The end of the last time to say Shmon Esrei is, let's say, in the morning, you, got it, you have to check the sheet, right? This is the last time for Shema. Right, let's say the last time for Shema. You have to see what time that is. But, uh, if you started it, like, isn't there something to do with when you start? Like, the question is, do you have to start before the the last time of sh- uh, the last time you could daven, or do you have to end? Could be if you have to end praying before the end of the time of Shabbos. Is that how it is? How is that how I we roll? So. I think oh, so. I think so. You have to end. Well, okay. we could. I could check up 100 percent. I could. I know up. when we, if, if it's if it's Shabbos and it's already the night time. And uh, people have already brought in Avdala, and you're still sitting in Sudha Shishit, you still bend Shabbos, like even way out. That's true. So I thought maybe. That's true. If you ever go to Long Shalash Shudas, right, and they end when it's like night, you still bench, you say, you stay, you say, Rate. Right. The reason is because it's going on a meal of Shabbos. It was a Shabbos meal. You and ate plus it. Plus, you haven't. You ate it during you Shabbos. Brought in Mar- yeah. That's true, too. Yeah. That's true, too. Uh-huh. But because you didn't, it was a Shabbos meal. You make you say we say, for example, let's go into uh, Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh, same thing. Same thing, which which is very important. That's why you have to make sure you you eat the bread should be at the time when you want to. At the, you, Rosh Chodesh. So if let's say it turns Rosh Chodesh at 8:30 and you start your meal at uh, 8:20, so make sure you eat the bread at 8:30. You know, if you eat it at 8:20, then you're going to have a question: Is it Rosh Chodesh? Is it not? You know, so they always say, you know, or if, if let's say Shabbos is Rosh Chodesh, so they say, you know, Shabbos is Rosh, is Rosh Chodesh, but Sunday is not Rosh Chodesh. So you eat your meal till Shkia. Eat the bread till Shkia. Don't eat your, your bread after sunset, because then you got a question. Maybe I ate bread after sunset. After sunset, maybe it's not Rosh Chodesh anymore. So I can't say Yal Yavo. So you get into problems. So it's a meal of Rosh Chodesh. So this is the... but but. I'm reading you from Mr. Brewer. He seems to say clearly. He says if you see the time, right? There's a latest time for Shmona Esra every morning, right? The latest time for Shema. Let's say I don't know 9:40. You have to see the time, and then there's a latest time that you could pray Shmona Esra. So he says if you see that the Shmona Esra, the latest time is going to be 9:45, you know, on a regular day, and it's re- it's, it's already 9:44. 
So what you do is you quickly take out the Havinenu and you say these three lines and there you accomplish the mitzvah of, of doing Shmon Esrei before the, before the time expires. Would it, in that situation, are you better off not doing it in the proper month and then making up your Shmon Esrei? No way, no way. So they would say... Once the time it? goes, self, it's called Sof, Zman, Tefillah. No, but there's also a concept of making... There, there is a concept of making it up till, mm -hmm. let's say, Chatzos, or till midday, or to make up two minchos, yeah. but that's already, that's after the fact, that's... That's so a, it's better to do that's a, a, a shortened one. That's a makeup. You know, right. it's like a makeup date, right, but it's right. not. Okay. It's just like a little. Um, so the chachila you do. Yeah. Shirt. It's even bidiyev. Is it? It's even bidiyev. It's like bidiyev. Yeah. It's only you know you no. you missed it. It's not in our in our situation, is it? Let me see if they bring it down. We also I, have to. I've never looked, but I don't think it's part of the regular. Unless it's in a special area. No, I, I don't see it here. I don't see it. I don't think they bring it down then. It wouldn't be after Shmona Esrei. No, but I might have it. I have a special sitter. I might have it okay. in, uh, in the Kolo. I, might, I think I have one there. But the, basically what we just spoke out, if you ever need to do it, copy it down off of the video, we got these four sentences is what you have to say. So, and that's the classic case. You, if you know if you're going to dive in too long. So what happens if you don't have the actual bracha and you have a sidur? Can you take the, 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 the choice words of each of those 13 and put them together somehow? Or it's not really... <laughs> yeah. You know my question, right? If you don't have the, if you don't have the formula already. Ah, uh, interesting. I don't know. No, probably it doesn't. I don't know. You see, because they they formulated. Is this also from the Anshay Kanasegadola? They all. Or well, this somebody else. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you where this is from. I'm reading to you from the Shulchan Aruch, who's quoting a Gemara and Brachas. <coughs> the Gemara and Brachas. The Gemara and Brachas. They, yeah, they they instituted this prayer. So it's right. It's it's a very important prayer. It's not something that, you know, anyone could just make up. No. So that's that's what he says over here. So the person is, or he's on the road, let's say, and he's scared. You know, he's on the road, you know, and he's scared like someone's going to, you know, he can only pull over to the road for one minute. You know, it's not really a place to pull over or something. Or he's scared people are going to, you know, interrupt him. So then that's the two cases, the two, you know, he's, he doesn't have time. He can't concentrate. But hey, only he an answer the question. Oh, now, <laughs> you know what? We'll have, to get, we'll have to continue next week. We'll have to continue. No, you have to finish it up already. We have to, it's, uh, <laughs> it, no, I want to do part two next week. Shmon Esrei. There's a shortened Shmon Esrei. Right, let's look up the halacha. Uh,